All right, man. So one thing I've noticed recently is that like most of my build videos that I give you guys, like the actual singular build videos are basically just guard builds. And I'm like, all the people that are trying to make like lockdowns or centers or footers, you guys are missing out heavily. So today I got you guys with two lockdown builds, man. I mean, I got one that's for the park, 2v2, 3v3, the stage, the pro-am 3v3. And then I got one that is for all of you rec players out there. So, I mean, if you're in need of a new lockdown build, you're tired of seeing your friends that are locks getting bopped around. If you want to just start a new chapter in NBA, 2k24 then go ahead and watch this video all i can ask from you guys is just to hit the subscribe button we are on the road to 30k man and while you're down there i mean you might as well drop a like and towards the end of this video just drop a comment on how you feel about these lockdown builds without further ado let's just get right into it all right so as i said before i got two different lockdown builds for you guys there's going to be a park one and then a rec one the first one i will be starting off with you guys is the park one so again you can use this in park twos threes stage threes pro-am 3v3 it doesn't really matter it's just elite when it comes down to any of those game modes so you are going to want to go small forward on the position six foot seven on the height 235 pounds on the weight and seven foot four in the wingspan let's go ahead and press continue and with all of my builds we're going to start off with the foundation which is the physicals go ahead and max out your speed make your acceleration a 74 max out your strength to a 90 vertical put it up to an 82 and then your stamina is going to be a 99 and for both of these lockdown builds we're going to start off with our defensive stats because i mean obviously it's a lockdown build why would we not start off with our defensive stats so i mean we could go top to bottom interior defense we're going to put it up to a 70 our perimeter defense is going to be a 94 our steel is going to be a 95 our block is going to be a 78 our offensive rebound is going to be a 77 and then we're going to max out our defensive rebound to a 92. so i mean this is pretty much baseline for park lockdowns and mb2k 24 obviously when we get to the pro m1 it's going to be a lot different but for this one, I mean, we got 94 perimeter, 95 steel, and 92 defensive rebound. Pretty baseline. So let's go ahead and go through the badges. Let me explain everything for you guys. Because, you know, yeah, I can just give you guys the attributes, but I want you guys to really understand what I'm giving to you, why I'm giving it to you. Pause. So 70 interior defense, we do get anchor on bronze. You don't really need much more interior on a lockdown because, I mean, when you're in the paint, you're guarding someone that has maybe a 94 driving dunk and you're to his side. I mean, bronze anchor is just enough to stop him, especially with your 7-4 wingspan. As long as you put a hand up i mean you should be just fine obviously you don't get post move lockdown but you don't really need that for a lock 94 perimeter defense is very good you don't need a 96 or a 99 for a just regular park lockdown it is just unnecessary you could be just fine guarding these iso guards or these pnr guards with a 94 because you get badges like old clamps hall of fame 94 feet hall of fame ankle braces challenger silver fast feet gold pick dodger hall of fame workhorse and hall of fame off ball pass i mean all of these badges put together if you are still getting bopped around like every single possession lockdown might not just be for you but i mean i've played on this build i know a lot of lockdowns are playing this build and they love playing on it because it's just so good now the thing with the lockdowns is you do not need 99 on perimeter or 99 steel there's a very small percentage of players that use 99 perimeter 99 steel but that's mainly in the pro am community or park you just simply do not need it so for steel we're going with a 95 here we get access to gold glove hall of fame interceptor and gold right stick ripper let me tell you all about this hall of fame interceptor badge right here i mean it is one of the most overpowered badges in the game like silver and gold interceptor i don't think there's much of a difference but when you get to the hall of fame level this is one of those rare occurrences where hall of fame level badge is like actually superior than silver or gold variation because this year i'm not gonna lie hall of fame badges are kind of lacking but interceptor is one that actually works you get insane lane animations it's just overall really good for business we got gold glove as well so i mean if you reach at some that's doing some pretty janky dribble moves you should be able to get it the ball is right in front of you press square time it right you'll be good and then right stick ripper for all you nerds out there that actually know how to time right stick ripper you should be just fine with the gold variation so now with the 78 block this is going to you know pair up with your interior defense and vertical we do get gold pogo stick so i mean if you want to just spam triangle at someone that's doing you know layups or you know they're pump faking you can go ahead and do that but this also does help with the 92 defensive rebound if you're trying to go for a rebound just spam triangle you should be just fine with you you do also get silver chase down artists but the thing about chase down artists this year is that it's not one of the greatest badges in the game i don't really see that many chase down animations compared to previous years of course i really hope that in 2k25 we can get better block animations but i mean you still get it on silver you'll get a lebron chase down every now and then just know that it won't be that frequent for our offensive rebound and defensive rebound we do have a 77 and a 92 this is going to allow us to get all of the rebounding badges on gold i really like rebound on a lockdown i know a lot of people like some Sometimes they will lower it a little bit so they could get other stats elsewhere 
but in my opinion I i'd really like rebound on a lockdown if you want other attributes you could obviously just tone these down but we do get gold box out beast and gold rebound chaser i already talked about pogo stick before i mean the offensive rebound when you're in the corner and your point guard just misses a shot you can crash for the board pretty easily and defensive rebound i mean it's just nice in park when you know you have people that are shooting midi so you're close to the basket and you can get the rebound pretty easily I, I think it's a really nice touch to have on a park lock rebound is definitely key but that's it for defense let's just go bottom to top here let's go ahead and fill out our pass accuracy this build is going to have a 70 pass act it's not too much but i mean it's just enough to get the ball down the court or you know back to your guard if he passes it to the corner we got the basic bronze badges which is bronze dimer bronze relay passer special delivery break starter and post playmaker we're not going to touch anything to ball handle or speed with ball because i mean we're, we're a lockdown we're not like a play lock we're just a regular a lockdown build that's just trying to get stops dunk the ball and shoot some threes let's go ahead and go up to our shooting we're going to max out our three-point shot to a 79 and we're going to max out our midi to an 87 now 87 midi is very key here so we can get t-mac base i mean i've talked to you guys in jump shot videos about t-mac lockdowns i mean it's literally changing the game it's basically it's damn near like patty mills on a small guard i mean you're in the corner you get a dot from your guard you could basically shoot over anyone if you have t-mac and then the 79 three-point i mean it's as much as we can get it's not a crazy amount of three point but i mean you could still knock down if you're a good shooter and then free throw we're going to put up to a 64 we're not going to touch it because we're going to save that for our pro-am and rec lockdown build later in the video so 87 midi as i said before you do get access to a lot of different bases but you also get a good amount of badges too that's the good thing about having a lot of mid-range we do get badges like silver blinders gold catch and shoot silver dead eye green machine guard up midi magician and open looks i think the jump shot base in general is more important than the badges that you get but i mean you get the best of both worlds with it 79 three point you don't get much you don't get limitless range but you do get agent threes on bronze so i mean if you want to hit some fades at the wing or the top of the key you could go ahead and do that and 64 free throw we do not need free throw since this is a park build stage build pro 3v3 build things like that so to wrap off this build this is going to be a lock that has standing dunk and i mean if you guys are not hip to the standing dunk meta yet in nba 2k24 i don't know what you're doing i don't know where you have been because obviously it is a huge like meta in this game a lot of people are staying away from driving dunk on these lockdown builds because sandy dunk is just superior and the attributes cost a little less uh make your driving dunk a 55 and that's going to be it for the build so 90 sandy dunk i mean let me explain this to you real quick you're in the corner your point guard says yo back door you literally back door you get the ball you wait like one or two seconds and then you hold square and you're gonna get the dunk every single time and you also get badges like precision dunker aerial wizard fast twitch and rise up i mean these badges plus the 90 sanding dunk you're not gonna miss a sanding dunk at any point in time and the 55 driving dunk you do get clay thompson dunk package so i mean you can get driving animations every now and then but it's just not that important when you have such a high sanding dunk rating like there's not a lot of things that i tell you to trust me on but this one right here standing dunk meta definitely trust me on this one i hope next year we go back to the driving dunk meta because honestly like i just miss getting contact dunks on locks but it's just not worth it in comparison to how cost effective standing dunk is when it comes to attributes that's going to be end of this variation of the lockdown build i mean this is one of the best locks in the game that's why i'm giving it to you guys let's go ahead and go top to bottom on the attributes here we do got a 90 standing dunk 87 midi for team max 79 three point with a 70 pass act and then we got 70 interior 94 perimeter 95 steel 78 block 77 o board and a 92 rebound this is looking like a pretty solid lockdown if there's anything you would tweak make sure to obviously leave it down in the comment section below let's go ahead and press x and continue and let's see what we have crafted here i mean i'm not joking bro if y'all really do need a lock go ahead and make this one i got a two-way spot up threat and for all of my wreck heads and pro m5v5 hawks out there let's go ahead and go on to that variation of the lockdown build so now obviously when it comes to being a pro m lock there's a lot of different things you need like you need more midi you need more steel you need less rebound things like that so like for this one we're going to be going with the power forward 6'6 265 pound seven foot one lockdown just let me cook you guys might be like hold on why power forward why 6'6 why is it so heavy just let me cook bro let's go down to the physicals and you guys are going to see by the end of me explaining this build why it's so tough so 87 speed on this one 77 excel 95 strength 63 vertical and a 99 stamina so once you have these physicals down man go ahead and go to your interior defense we're going to start with our defensive as usual put your interior defense up to an 82 perimeter defense go ahead 
ahead and put it to a 94. Steel is going to be at a 96. And then your block, it's going to be at 77. Offensive rebound is only going to be at a 40 for this build. And then your defensive rebound is going to be an 85. So obviously the trade-offs between this build and the other build is we got a 96 steel. We got a higher interior, but we have less offensive rebound and defensive rebound. Because in Pro-Am 5v5 or in the rec, you're on offense, you're never going to be going for boards and defense it's it's kind of rare but i mean you might be going for them sometimes and then the 82 interior defense is going to give you that post move lockdown on silver 94 perimeter defense is still key here it's not anything different from last build as the park variation of the build because 94 perimeter is basically all you need in this game you don't need a 96 you could go 96 but it's not very necessary we do get gold clamp hall of fame 94 feet ankle braces challenger fast feet and pick dodger on gold and then workhorse and off ball pass on hall of fame on this build you do get the gold fast feet gold fast feet is a pretty big deal when it comes to 5v5 you don't really need it in the 3v3 or 2v2 modes but in 5v5 it does make a big difference for our steel we have a 96 steel here for that hall of fame right stick ripper as i said before man if you understand how to use right stick ripper this 96 rating is definitely worth it it literally takes a little amount of time little amount of effort and you can learn it pretty quickly obviously you still have the same gold glove and hall of fame interceptor i've talked about that before hall of fame interceptor is very op and then gold glove i mean if you're at the right place at the right time you will get the steel we got 77 block which will give us the bronze chase down artist you don't get silver on this build you do not get silver but i mean chase down artist really doesn't matter that much in this game and 5v5 i mean you're not really going to be going for chase downs too much 40 offensive rebound you do not need offensive rebound on 5v5 and then 85 defensive rebound you're going to get gold box out beast and silver rebound chaser go up to your playmaking and make your pass accuracy a 77 this is going to be another difference put your ball handle to a 42 and then your speed with ball to a 40 77 pass act we're going to get most of these passing badges on silver because you do need to pass the ball a little bit I'm gonna get silver dimer bronze needle threader silver relay passer special delivery bronze touch passer and silver break starter any plays you are called to run and you're taking the ball as a lockdown and you need to you know pass it whether your guards are running a wrap maybe hash cut something like that you need to be able to pass the ball so 77 is just enough and you also all of these badges are going to allow you to do that so just go ahead and make it a 77 for your shooting now this is where we get a little tactical our mid-range shot is going to be a 91 91 is a lot but that's what we're going to have it your three-point shot is going to be an 85 and your free throw is going to be a 99 so we got a lot of shooting here i mean we get t mac we get a whole lot of badges on gold and hall of fame level and we get the 99 free throw i mean it's looking so good just trust me on this so i mean 91 midi obviously you get access to all of the bases in the game but you also get all of these badges like gold blinders gold dead eye catch and shoot green machine guard up mini magician and open looks you're gonna be shooting i'm not gonna lie you might be dropping 30 piece maybe a 40 piece out of the corner if your guard is not doing that good just make sure your guard knows that you are going to be able to shoot in the corner blinders and dead eye catch and shoot with t mac in the corner it's just so nice and then you have the 85 three points so i mean it's a pretty good amount you do get that bronze limitless and obviously you still get bronze agent threes it's not going to change and then the 99 free throw i mean you should never miss a free throw with this you get hall of fame free points some might say that you only need a 90 free throw but i mean you might as well just put it on 99 on this build if you want other attributes i mean you could decrease this to a 90 but i don't think you really need to change it and then go up to round this build off we're going to have an 85 standing dunk which is going to complete this build at the 99 potential overall level 85 standing dunk you do get the dunking badges on silver like precision dunker fast twitch and rise up 45 driving dunk i'm pretty sure you get one or two dunk packages but i mean the 85 standing dunk is what we're here for because we are in the standing dunk meta like i explained on the other build i'm not going to go over it again but you get caught on a back door you hold square you get the sandy dunk it's that simple so i mean let me know what you guys think of this pro-am slash rec 5v5 lockdown build down in the comments let me go over it one more time we got an 85 standing 91 midi 85 three point 99 free throw 77 pass act with an 82 interior 94 perimeter 96 steel 77 block with an 85 defensive rebound in my opinion man this is looking like a solid build i would definitely bring this to the 5v5 you guys might be like why is it 6 6 but trust me bro this is just what you need in nba 2k24 i got the strength got the steel i got the shooting the dunking the pass act we even got the rebounding everything you need let's go ahead and press continue and see what we have crafted for this build we got the two-way spot up threat 
names for lockdowns don't really change this year but i mean i hope to see you guys winning some pro-am leagues maybe you know the late night rec sessions i hope to see you guys on this lockdown build all right man so those were the two lockdown builds let me know how i did in the comment section with these builds for the park and stage variation and then we had the pro-am and rec variation i mean i feel like i did pretty good those builds are very solid i've used both of them i have used both of them and i could vouch for both of them 100 but as always man hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we are on the road to 30k and drop a like on this video while you're down there i hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch you on the next one i'm out peace